Good evening, and welcome to another segment of Masterpiece. Tonight, we will be discussing the book by John L. Steinbeck, The Pearl, which is about a... Whoa, wait, this isn't a felony, is it? What's up, everyone? This is Steve, and today we're going to be reviewing the book The Pearl by John L. Steinbeck, which is about a man who suffers from greed in order to take care of his family and get his kid an education. The beginning kind of goes something like this. The family's having breakfast, and the kid gets stung by a scorpion. So they rush to the hospital. <laughs> So fat. But since they don't have a lot of money, the doctor's like, no! so yeah. So then Kino punches a gate. No! The next day, Kino and Juana are looking for pearls inside of clams, and luckily he finds them, and it's really wow. good. It's like crystal. So Kino's like really excited, but the baby on the other hand is still sick. <laughs> now man, is Kino happy over here? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah! Yeah. So then they show the doctor, and man, is he astonished. And these beggars come up, and they're all like, You got it, you got it. Can you get it? They got it. Woo! Shut up! So yeah, everything's running smoothly until one night when someone breaks into their house. And Kino gets mad. He gets his knife and the house. But gets beat down because he can't see anything. Serious talk. Now, Juana over here believes that the pearl is possessed by the devil. But since Kino withdraws his denial, a bunch of other bad stuff starts happening. Anyway, so Juana's pretty sick of all this devil stuff, so she goes into Kino's room, takes the pearl, and tries to destroy it. But man, Kino has his senses, so he gets up and goes after her. And he beats her down senses at the lake. No, no. But another masked guy attacks Kino. Oh. So Kino thinks this guy has his pearl, so he kills him. But Juana has it. Kino's a little mad at her, but they're still trying nice to hide a body. So they go back to the house with greetings from another masked man with a torch. <coughs> Juana quickly gets the baby and they run out of the house. Ooh, did I mention that they brought a lot of corn on the way? Yep, corn. Cut, cut. Ah, not again. Steve, I don't know if you're just that plain stupid, but this has been going on for an ensenada till now. Corn is going on with Skrillex, and they're not a food. Back to the story. Anyway, so someone punched a hole in their boat, so now they can't ride their boat. So now they gotta do this. Thank God it's Friday! So they enter the city, and... Apparently, more masked guys are after them, so they run. And I mean darting, like they would not slow down. No holding back, they're running. So they hide behind a bush with two guards blocking a cave. When all of a sudden... And then... As soon as that bullet entered his son's skull, he turned into a killing machine. They get back from the city, but now Kino and Juan are really upset at what this pearl has done to their family. So they go back to the lake, and Kino has the pearl. He gives it to Juana to see, but she says no, you, and he throws it back into the lake. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm Steve, and I hope you had a good day in ELA class. Well, see you later. Whoa, you're still alive!
Roadhouse.